Hey everybody, G Bear here. Got another exciting chapter in uh, Let's Play with Electricity. I got a new little discovery that I uh, wanted to share with you. And uh, what it involves is uh, this unit right here. Actually, only one part of this unit. It would be this one or this one. They're both exactly the same. Let me show you what it says on the sides of those. Oop, let's turn it the right way so you can read it. And uh, it says 240 volts AC. And uh, apparently, um, it requires 240 volts to power it. Now, there's a ceramic capacitor in here. And uh, I don't have any readings or ratings on that. It might be underneath. I don't want to play with it right now to uh, possibly cause any damage to it. But uh, I've got a few of these. They, uh, they came with... Uh, the parts I tore out of a uh, electric oven. But uh, I was playing around with these and I came up with a neat little discovery. And uh, I think you'll be interested in that. Well, let's get started on what I'm going to do here. Okay, so I've got my voltmeter here set in front of us all ready to go. And you can see two 18 volt uh, batteries here. Those are from um, a cheap Harbor Freight screw gun or drill uh, whatever you want to call it and I'm going to use those I already marked them for positive negative and they both have a full charge in them as you can see these have been used before and uh, they're not brand new but they'll they'll do the job and uh, I'm going to use those to to put the power um, that I, I need into one of these little items here right through the capacitor and what I found was uh, the two of these together are, are going to put out 36 volts DC. Now when I tie those together in series, that's what I'll get. Now I'm going to put the 32 volts DC across these two terminals of the capacitor here. And then I'm going to come off of that capacitor and I'm going to run that into my switch here and my light that you've seen before. And uh, this is a 60... No, I'm sorry. I changed it. I put a 100 watt uh, light bulb in here this time. And here's a 60 and here's a 40. Okay, so I've got three light bulbs to play with. And uh, these don't have any wiring to them right now. I will hook them up in parallel to the first 100 watt light bulb. So let's get started here, okay? Um, let's see, the, you're not going to be able to see the meter very well in that position. Whoops, don't want to knock things over here. Uh, let's see, I think I've got, oh yeah, I've got an old battery here I can use to prop this up. And uh, I think that'll give you a better view of it. So what I need to do is start grabbing a few of my jumper leads here. I made some new ones up so that I had plenty. And what we're going to do is start by jumping from the negative of this one to the positive of this one. All right. So now we'll come off of the negative of this one and we're going to come over to our capacitor. Now we'll come off with the next jumper. Let me lay this one down so I have room to clip others on. We'll come off of the positive side of this battery and we're going to go over to the other side of this capacitor. Okay, simple so far, right? Now, if I take my leads from my voltmeter and I have it set, we'll set it on 200 volts DC right now so you can see what kind of power I'm coming getting out of those two batteries together and we'll click the click a positive on here 
and the negative on here and turn the meter on and look at that I'm putting 55 volts um, I think something's going on with this meter because uh, it, uh, it doesn't seem to be reading properly uh, I get different readings from the different levels here on uh, DC voltage and they should all be the same I'll change this meter out next but uh, for right now it'll suffice okay so next we're gonna come off of the positive of here and go to the positive pole on my switch and then we need a negative lead and the negative lead will come off of the negative here. Yeah, I know, I got a bunch of stacked wires, huh? Looks scary. Really not. All right. So, here we are. We are all hooked up and we're ready to flip the switch. See what we get on this 100 watt light bulb. Whoa! That's bright. Isn't that something? Now, notice the voltage hardly dropped at all on here. And this is coming off of just two batteries right now. Okay? So, let's go to the next, the next part of this. We'll shut the switch off so we can see. And we're going to take another lead here. And we'll take the second bulb. And we'll clip the black to the silver screw, which would be the neutral on this. And these are 120, 120 volts. So I'm clipping that onto the silver screw. And uh, that one will go to the white wire of the first bulb. All right. Now we'll take the second lead and we'll go to the gold screw on the bottom which would normally be the hot wire in a 120 volt circuit and we're going to take the lead from there and go to the back side of the switch so that when I hit the switch two lights should come on right yeah let's see look at that 160 watts of light as bright as can be coming off of here and I just dropped down to 53 volts okay so let's go one step further let's take another lead and this is a positive lead so we'll come come off of the brass screw and we need a negative lead which will come off of the silver screw Okay, so there's our third light hooked up into sequence. And we'll take the other two leads over here. Again, the black will go on with all the other blacks. And the red will come down to the outside output side of the switch. Alright, here we go. Light switch on. Look at that. We got three lights running. We're still at 53 volts. And this is running off of two 18 volt batteries. Look at all the light I've got off of that. Can you imagine if I throw a solar charge onto these batteries or even just take three Harbor Freight 15 watt solar panels that each one is 12 volt, hook them into series, and that's going to give me 36 volts for, for an output. Okay, now we got here two 18s, that's 36 volts. I can do the same thing with three solar panels, and all, all through the, when the sun is beating them on them, I can run the three lights. Now, if I had these batteries tied into that, the batteries would be recharged by the solar panels 
the whole time I'm using all of this power to get all the light I need. Now this is this is the amazing thing. I'm still on DC voltage here. Now watch this. I'm going to jump up here to AC voltage. Guess what I'm putting out? 114.5 volts AC. Okay, that's basically the 110 volts that you normally used to get out of your house. And I'm getting that out of two DC batteries. Isn't that something? I think it is. And now this one is definitely going out to the desert with me. And I'm going to continue this one with solar panels and see if I can get all this light off of solar panels too. I wish I had a few more bulbs to hook up to this thing because it doesn't seem to cause any problem. Now you notice that this third bulb is a different color? Well the reason for that is that uh, these are daylight and that one is soft white. And I don't like soft white but I just happened to have that one and I stuck it in there. Okay now before I cut this off Let's go to one more thing. I'm going to try one more thing here. I have an incandescent bulb here. Those three are LEDs. They're 120 volt LEDs, 100 watt, 60 watt, and 40 watt. This is a 60 watt uh, incandescent bulb. So let's take everything off the line. Switch off. Okay. Notice we've got 117 volts here. That's AC current. I am set on the 200 volt. Let me see if I can scan in on there. I am set on 200 volts AC current, 117.918 volts call it. That's basically house current. And that's AC coming off of two DC batteries, 18 volts DC each. I like it. I really do. Okay, so let's zoom back out here again and we'll go back to our connections. So we want to keep all those connections there. We're going to take this one off. This is our hot lead coming off the capacitor. And we're going to tie that one into the black wire. And then we're going to take the neutral or the negative or the black wire and we're going to connect that one up to the white wire. Look at that. We're lighting an incandescent bulb using two batteries the voltage is dropping faster so there there's your electric electrical gobblings in your house the ones that eat up all the electric electricity and anything that produces heat will use a lot of electricity and raise your electric bill so I'm getting away from all of these I don't use them anymore everything I use are LEDs and I sure do like having LEDs around for my experiments. So we'll take this off of here. We're down to 110 volts there and it jumps back up to 114 as soon as I take the bulb off. So we can tie this back into the 100 watt bulb on the switch and on the positive. Hit the light. Look at that brightness. That is totally amazing. 100 watt light bulb 111 volts on my meter all coming off of that little unit right there now over here you see that I have a DC power supply and I can turn that on and I can bring this up to 30 volts DC or 31 volts it'll max out at that and I can clip that on to this also I can keep charging these batteries while I'm powering this light. So I could have light all night long, but this is kind of redundant because it's plugged into an AC outlet and it's dropping the, vo the current from AC to DC. And then I'm bringing it through here and I'm
bringing it back up again at this point through my capacitor I'm bringing it back up to AC current again so I I, I don't like doing that um, it's just that I did this to simulate solar panels keeping these batteries charged while I was using current and it worked so I know that I can hook solar panels up and get the same results okay now just one more thing before I go you can see on my table here which goes all the way back out there I have got a lot of electronic stuff I've been picking and picking up stuff and gathering I still haven't gotten the pump motor and the drive motor out of a uh, newer late model um, clothes washer anybody has one I don't care if it's working or not I'll take it for the parts um, I I can uh, scavenge some some of the stuff out of there I'll pick it up you don't have to worry about getting rid of it uh, give me a call I be glad to uh, take it off your hands anyway here's another little thing I've been working on my antenna to grab electricity out of the air and I've been looking for things like capacitors and diodes and all of that now this is a, a control board that came out of um, the oven and when you're looking at this thing you don't really see much but as I got a better look at it there are on this little board right here there are diodes capacitors transformers I mean it's a treasure trove everything is on here that I could ever ask for and uh, I'm not sure if they're germanium uh, diodes or if they're silicon diodes I have to actually take them off the board and put them on my tester and my tester will tell me by the reading I get off of there which ones they are. But this little board also on this side has an LED readout. Now just messing around I found the input here and this is line and center is neutral. And I said well let's see what happens. So I took my my positive line and I hooked that up to the line and then I took my neutral and this is coming off the 117 volts and I plugged it into there listen to that there's my beeper going off and there's the LED flashing on and off there's enough voltage going through or coming out of those two batteries going through my capacitor to run this board isn't that something now this is all 240 volt technology this is not 120 and that's why we're not um, functioning properly here uh, what we're doing is uh, just bypassing all of the circuitry and um, giving you the little beeper is right there and the lights are there but uh, I thought that was pretty interesting that that came out I may not um, tear this board apart I might just save this and set it up for a little type of a um, imitation alarm system <laughs> just, just to freak people out anyway that's it for today I'll have more coming again like I said I've got the parts that I needed I picked up some uh, some diodes and uh, some capacitors and uh, I've got all kinds of resistors and little transformers and check these capacitors out uh, I'm going to be wiring all these things up and turning them into a antenna and I'm going to capture electricity out of the air and hopefully using the capacitance like I did here I will be able to boost up the, the low voltage uh, DC that I pull out of the air or even the AC I pull out of the air I'll be able to boost it through one of these units and kick it up and maybe I'll get 117 volts or 118 volts out of it but uh, maybe I won't we'll find out on the next uh, chapter of bear playing with electricity have a good evening